Amen. Praise the Lord. New Rises Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in that name that is above every name. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are to rejoice and to be glad in it. And God wants us to live life in the spirit. That's right. When we live life in the spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh, but that we will be granted every grace and blessing that God intends for us to have when we live life in the spirit. And so each day we're just reading the passages of scripture that remind us of what life in the spirit is all about. And we pray those principles and promises in those passages back to God, knowing and believing that he is no shorter than his word. So today is day number 26. Thank God for all of you who have joined in us praying with us about life in the spirit. We're going to be reading from Philippians chapter one and verse 19 today. Philippians chapter one and verse 19 says from the new King James version of the word of God. For I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ. For I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ. That was Philippians chapter one and verse 19. As we pray today about life in the spirit, we want to pray, first of all, for the deliverance of all of the saints. If any saint is in trouble or in a trial or in a, 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 a tight situation, we just want to pray for the deliverance of the saints. And we want to pray for the supply of the spirit that through the prayer of the righteous and through the supply of the spirit, people will be delivered from whatever hangups and whatever hardships that they may be going through. Our prayer and the supply of the spirit will make all the difference in their lives. Come on, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus we come to you boldly before your throne of grace today. We seek help. We seek your favor in our times of need. God, you told us that when we come to you, you would show us great and mighty things. Jesus, thank you for Philippians chapter 1 and verse 19, that the confidence that we have in prayer and in the spirit will deliver our loved ones, will deliver those that are caught up in situations from those situations in the name of Jesus. So we pray today for the deliverance of the saints. We pray for those, Lord God, that are behind prison walls, that are in correctional institutions and situations, Lord. We pray for their physical bondage and physical deliverance, that they will be rehabilitated and regenerated and revived and renewed in the name of Jesus. We pray for those, Lord God, that are in drug addicted situations that they may be addicted to illegal drugs or legal drugs Lord whatever the case may be we pray that your delivering hand would be strong in their lives we pray Lord God for those that are in spiritual bondages Lord that they're captivated and held captive by the power of darkness in this world God we come in the name of Jesus and believe deliverance for our loved ones from the power of darkness that they too would be translated into the kingdom of your dear son. We pray, Lord God, for those that are in bondage situations, emotionally, psychologically, Lord, in relationships, we pray that they too would be delivered. For you said, whom the son has set free is free indeed. Free us, Lord Jesus. Free our loved ones. Free our family members, Lord. Free those in the church community. Free those in our in our extended family and extended community, Lord, set us free, Lord God, through the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ and through the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We pray, Lord God, that not only would you send deliverance, but that you would send the supply of your spirit. Move, Holy Spirit, on behalf of your people. Lord, where we can't get into certain places, Lord, your spirit can invade those places and break bondages and break chains in the name of Jesus. Go behind physical and concrete walls, Lord, to deliver your people. Go beyond the forces of evil in this world, God, to deliver your people. Go behind the lies of the enemy and the deception of Satan to deliver your people. 
God, we need a supply of your spirit for where the spirit of the Lord is. You said there is liberty. Bring liberty of salvation to the lives of your people, God. Bring liberty, Lord, of the freedom that is in Jesus Christ to your people, God. We need to be saved. We need to be filled with your spirit. We need to be delivered. We need to be set free and healed in the name of Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Heavenly Dove. Move by your spirit, Lord. Come, Spirit of truth. Come, helper. Come, comforter. The paraclete, Lord, send him alongside of us that need to be delivered. Send the supply of your spirit in abundance, Lord. We need you, God. We praise you that it is already done. We glorify you, Lord. We lift you up and we praise your name. Thank you for deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the supply of your spirit in the name of Jesus. And as those that have been in bondage come out, God, we pray you would give them a testimony. As those that have been in bondage come out, God, we pray that you would loose their tongues to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. As those that come out, Lord God, they would come out clapping their hands and, and stomping their feet and magnifying and glorifying you. For you and you alone, oh God, deserve all of the praise. We believe victory, hallelujah, in the life of your people and in the supply of your spirit. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. For I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ. If you know somebody that's in deliverance, needing deliverance, continue to pray for them because your prayer and the supply of the spirit will make all of the difference. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. Be victorious. God bless.